Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Najuma Christine Sega, Blessed, a marriage mentor, counselor, and relationship coach. Oh, thank you so very much for opening. If you feel first time, I would like to appreciate you. Thank you so much for opening this video. And please, I humbly request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please take a minute, uh, press the like button, and then share with friends and family. For my returning subscribers, oh thank you for being part of my story thank you so much for the feedback thank you so much for the comments for the sharing for being in this space as we grow each other as we empower each other in this generation as we all thrive in our marriages and as we enjoy our marriages in this episode i would like us to share something so profound in, when it comes to regard to, to the issue, the thing of marriage, and that is trust, trust, trust. Uh, one writer said, the renowned uh, transformational leader, uh, Dr. Jess, uh, John C. Maxwell, said trust is the foundation of any relationship. Trust is the foundation of any marriage. So my dear friends, in any relationship, romantic, family, business, work relationship, you need to build trust. And in this episode, I want us to share building trust in our marriages, building trust in that romantic relationship. Please, we need to be intentional. We need to be committed. We need to be deliberate as we build our marriages. It's not business as usual. I know it's not business as usual. So trust, trust. What is trust in, in a simple terms? Just trust that act of pressing confidence. You press confidence in your spouse. You depend on them. You, you rely. You can count on them. You give them benefit of doubt. You, you, you can count on what they say. Yeah, you, 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 you depend on, 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 their, on, their, on their acts, on their words. You trust someone close to you. You can't just keep on trusting everybody. No, you need to keep trusting somebody who is what? Who is, uh, who, who is close to you. And in that case, that somebody you are trusting has to be honest, transparent, and trustworthy. And even reliable. So, we need to build trust. Without trust, fear sets in. If you don't trust, trust somebody in, in any marriage or any relationship, you, you, it will mean you, you, are, you are not comfortable, you are not confident, you, 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 you are not sure, you fear what, 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 what the next step is. There are words, you are insecure, you are anxious. So if you don't have trust, all those things will happen. But for us in our marriage, what we need is to build trust. And we need to build it now. Remember building step by step. You don't just build overnight. No, you, it takes time. And we are starting on building trust tonight. Try to, uh, beg your pardon. Trust is one of the crucial building blocks for our marriages, for becoming closer and closer with your spouse. The more you trust somebody, you become closer. The less I trust somebody, you become disconnected. Each one of us, when we are falling in love, when we meet some, uh, some, um, our spouses, we fall in love, we understand each other, we get committed to each other. From time to time, we trust each other, we build trust, we become part of, uh, part of each other's life. Trust becomes part of the daily thing. I trust him, I trust her. So we need to trust our spouses. And trust is relative and is, uh, of course, it depends on, uh, on the different people and the different circumstances. But all in all, you need to trust. Trust is the foundation of any relationship. To build trust in a relationship or in marriage, it is so essential. It, the, the, it brings harmony. It brings peace. It brings satisfaction. It brings a, assurance. It assures the other spouse that, yes, my spouse trusts me. My partner trusts me. The, it, it, it gives comfort. So we need to trust our spouses. And the time is now. And by the way, trust is earned over time. Trust is earned over time. And trust can be misused and trust can be rebuilt. So trust is earned over time. 
And guess what? As a spouse, as a partner, as you are building trust for each other, you need to consider those small, small acts. How do you communicate when you are away? When you are talking on phone? When, uh, uh, when you are at home? Those small, small, small acts will build trust or will destroy trust. Those small thoughts, uh, yeah, uh, those small accountability, you, you, you communicate to your spouse, uh, this is my program, I'll be going for shopping, I'll be uh, dropping up by at the hospital to see a sick friend, I'll be going to gym. It's not that uh, somebody is, is uh, stalking you, no. You are just those small, uh, uh, out of those small acts. You are, you are trying to tell him that, by the way, me, that is me, and I, I feel comfortable when I communicate to you. I feel comfortable when I communicate to you. So those small, small acts build trust over time, over time, over time, over time. It's that, that, that's being responsible, being accountable to each other. Yeah, it builds trust. Trust liberates the soul from self-deception. Trust delivers our souls from, uh, from self-deception. And uh, oh, uh, on that, I want us to know, as we build trust for our spouses, we need to trust our creator. We need to trust our creator. Uh, the, 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 the time somebody was, uh, was sharing and, uh, and he, ma he, he made this statement, that uh, at, in, in the Bible, in, in Genesis, at the creation, when God gave Adam, Eve, uh, the wife, Adam was so excited, was overwhelmed and said, this is the bone of my bone, this is the flesh of my flesh, and she'll be called a woman. The reason why Adam was so excited, apart from that, she got a, a beautiful woman in front of her, but because Adam trusted the giver, Adam trusted the giver. So my dear friends, bottom line, in order to build trust with your spouse, you need to build trust. You need to trust your creator. Because he's the giver. He's the giver. He gave you that woman. He gave you that wife. He gave you that husband. He gave you that man. So you need to take time and build trust. You need to have faith in God. You need to have faith in your creator. Whatever religious belief, faith, organization you, you belong to, you need to acknowledge the supremacy of our creator. It will help you to trust the human being. It will help you to trust your spouse. So my dear friends, the first step as we build trust in our marriage, let's trust our creator. Let's have faith in our creator. Let's appreciate the giver. Let's believe in the giver. He, he, he is, he's a great giver. He's almighty. So let's trust him. Let's have faith. If we can only trust him, if we can only believe in him, he's the great giver. He perfects everything. And every perfect gift comes from the Lord. So even that perfect gift of your spouse came from God. Even that perfect gift of your husband came from God. Even that perfect gift of your children came from Almighty. The perfect gift of your businesses, of your job, of your life came from God. Of everything, the beauty came from the Lord. So let's build trust in our Creator. Uh, my dear friends, as we build trust, we need you need to be uh, deliberately to speak the truth all the time. Be truthful. Be truthful. Stop lying. You may be lying your partner, but you are lying yourself. Stop lying. Let, let, let's, let, let's speak the truth. The truth, it will give you peace. It will give you liberty. You won't be, you're on phone. You, you, uh, you are saying this and the other. And then you, maybe you're saying, I'm in this place, yet you're in another place. Maybe there's some noise and someone will say, ah, you said you are in church. But then the noise is different. The noise is like uh, on the street of the city. Let's always be intentional and speak the truth to our spouses. However much you may be in a fix, always speak the truth. Just say, 
I'm, 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 I'm delayed. I'm on the way. The traffic is, is, is too heavy. I've delayed. We had gone for the move, but uh, it has delayed. The, uh, we, 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 we didn't. We, 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 we didn't anticipate that it will end so late like this. So you need to do what? To speak the truth. You need to speak the truth all the time. All the time. Uh, my, 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 uh, and then you need to exemplify your, your truth. Don't, you need to mean what you say. Exemplify it. You need to mean what you say. Live, walk the talk. Walk the talk. Walk the talk. Walk the talk. Mean what you say. Let's stop saying, I do as I said, don't do as I do. No. Say something and accompany it with an action. You say, ah, ah me. Ah, ah, yes, ah, me. I, I, I'm good at keeping time. But you have an appointment to your spouse. It's at 10 a.m. You arrive at 1 p.m. That's, that's the sign of mistrust. That's the sign that you are not talking the truth. Live by that. Keep time. Yes. Stand on the truth. Stand on the truth, whatever it takes. Truth, many times is bitter, but swallow the bitter truth and tell the truth. Tell the truth to your children. Tell the truth to your spouse, to your friends. People know, uh, know this and this. So let's stand on the truth, uphold the truth, and live in the truth. Can I say that again? Let's stand for the truth. Live in the truth. Exemplify the truth. Walk the truth. And live the truth. As you build our strong marriages. Uh, what, are, uh, 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 what are those basics as we build trust in our marriages? Communication, communication. I've mentioned it earlier. I want to emphasize it. As you build trust, you need to communicate to your spouse. Say it. Say it loud. Avoid, uh, uh, avoid speaking in parables. Avoid beating around the bush. No. Be straight. Communicate clearly. And then listen to your spouse. Then it, 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 it will help you to build trust. And then, of course, you need to be vulnerable. You need to be vulnerable as you build trust. Sometimes you need to be vulnerable, be able to speak the naked truth. You, you, you open yourself to your spouse. Don't say, oh, you know, the other time I told you this, but I meant this. I you know I didn't want to tell you. You know I didn't want to scare you. No. Be open. Be open. Be vulnerable. And tell the truth. Because remember, you are building trust. We are tr building trust. Today you say this is your name. Today you say you are born from this side. The other day you, you went to school this side. You, the other day this is your 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 your, your, your classmate. The other day you say ah, I went to one sex school. Then ah, you need to to be vulnerable and speak the truth and be always available. And then. As we build trust, you shouldn't keep secrets, especially in marriage. Yes, you can have your secret, uh, not to share it with the public, but in your, with your partner. As you build trust, stop those secrets. Share the secrets with your spouse. Share with him, share with her. Share with them those secrets, those deepest secrets. Yes. Share, share with your spouse. And then, as you build trust, you need to set health boundaries. You need to set health boundaries. Mm. You need to set, health, set the health boundaries in, 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 your, in your marriage. Uh, you, 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 you don't just open up with all the people, you know, you know me, I, I, me, I, all my, the relatives of my husband, the relatives of my, my wife, they have to know this, no. Don't share everything. You need to keep boundaries. And of course, you need to keep promises. <laughs> you need to keep promises. When you vow to do something, keep the promise. 
Yeah. You know, even in marriage, you say, ah, you know, you know, they say this, uh, my husband, uh, I request you every dinner we should be together. And then, we are, we are, we are, we are together for dinner. Mm -hmm. You know, this and this will happen. Keep the promise. It's about the bed mentioned. Keep the promise. Yeah, keep the promise. Don't change. Don't change. If you change, somebody say, ah, what, what, what does, what, 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 what is the reward? I trusted her. I, I, I committed to this, the, the prayer I made. But for her, she doesn't keep promises. If you don't keep promises, people don't trust you. If you need to be trusted, you need to keep promises. You need to keep promises. And of course, you need to build respect and be honest. Somebody to trust, you need to be honest. You need to be respectable. You need to be a person of integrity. So you need to be honest, my dear friends, as you build trust. And of course, you need to take responsibility of all the actions. Don't say, you know, you see, uh -uh, you didn't understand me. No, as you are building trust, take responsibility of all your actions. Let's avoid the blame game. Let's avoid pointing fingers. And of course, you need to be ready to forgive. I mentioned earlier, sometimes trust may be mis 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 misused, but be ready to forgive so that you can build another block on the trust in your marriage. And then, of course, as you build trust with your partner, you need to uh, sometimes take risks. Yeah, take risks together. Don't say, oh, it doesn't concern me. It's about you. No. You are in that together. You are in the marriage thing together. So take risks together. It will show that really you trust somebody. You could afford to take a risk with him or with her. Don't say, ah, me, when it comes to that, ah, no, 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 me, that is a go, no go area. No, of course you have boundaries, but take risk with your spouse. It will build trust. It will build more confidence. It will build more connectivity and more commitment. So let's take risk together. And then as you build trust, in case of uh, uh, trust misused, you need to give somebody the benefit of doubt. Don't judge quickly. Don't give up so quickly. Give them a benefit of doubt. Give your partner a benefit of doubt. So please, we are building trust and we are in this together. And we need to be ready to care with your spouse. Be ready to care and share with your spouse. Somebody trusts you care. Somebody trusts you respect. Somebody trusts you love. So be ready to care, to love, to pamper, to prioritize, to respect, to honor your spouse as you build trust, as you enjoy marriage, as you thrive in your marriage. And friends, be intentional. Be intentional, be intentional. It's building trust requires a lot of intentionality. Don't, it's not, don't, don't just say throw, throw your hands ever here and there. No, be intentional. It's not a cup of tea, be intentional. And please, be committed and please, also, yourself, be reliable and trustworthy. You may say, my spouse has trust issues. What about you? Are you trusted? So, my dear friends, let's build trust as we thrive in our marriages, as we build the strong marriages. And the time is now for you and me to press the restart button and build trust. And in case trust was broken, please take time and repair that trust. Remember, trust is the foundation of any relationship. You can't thrive in your marriage when trust is broken. So take time and repair and rebuild the trust with your spouse. And we are in this together. We are leaving no one behind. We are in this thing, marriage. We are enjoying it. We are thriving in it. We are building it. And we are enjoying it. So, thank you so much for taking a step of building trust in your marriage. I would like to appreciate you once again. 
for watching this video. And please, I request you kindly, if you, this is your first time, I request you kindly to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, press the like button and share with friends and family. And please remember to check on my, check me on my social media platform, on my Instagram, Blessed Christine Sega, Facebook, Najuma Christine, and here on my YouTube channel. It's always a pleasure to share with you. Thank you so, so very much. Bye-bye.